Welcome back everyone to modded Minecraft 1.7. Today is the day I'm finally going to make that golem tree farm even though it's not quite as necessary since I've got all that oil now, but it could still be good for making mana for Batania because it's about the best way I can think of. And hopefully they fix some of the issues that <laughs> uh, but Tanya was having with the flowers. I honestly don't know. So here's my little oil refinery. This is probably going to be a temporary location and I'll just run over how it works really quickly. Up here, this is the only way I could figure out to collect water automatically. I tried using these transfer nodes just straight over the water, which used to act kind of like a pump does, but yeah, I couldn't get it to work anymore, so I had to use a pump and then the transfer node on top of it. And you could also use build craft pipes here, but I kind of like these a little, a little bit better. Here I've got three combustion engines. Uh, looks like they're all running on fuel right now. I just gave it one bucket of oil to jumpstart the system. And we've got a one oil drum back here, and that's being put into the refinery. And that gets refined into fuel, which goes into both these drums and these engines. And I don't think buildcraft pipes explode anymore, like they used to a long time ago, so we shouldn't have to worry about uh, this, uh, any pipes exploding or anything and these engines should never run out of water so they won't explode either if they did that would be very bad all right so let's go ahead and grab our golems here and oh i need to make a gather core as well how do i make a gather core <laughs> i can't find anything here <laughs> okay It wasn't boiling yet. There we go. Column animation core gather. So now I'm probably going to set these guys up down here. And... Where exactly? I have this area cleared out already. It would, this area would be closer. Why didn't I clear out this area? Well, either way, I guess I'll set up here. I could have sworn I cleared this out, but maybe that was something that was lost when I restored from a, from a backup or something. Okay, so I'm going to need a chest of some kind. I'm just doing horrible today. Okay, iron is good enough for now. I think I'm low on gold. So let's put it... Hmm. Not quite sure where I should put it. I don't know what the range on the golems is. Okay, so you I will put here and make a gather golem if it will let me. And you... Hmm... I don't have everything that you should be picking up. Let me see if I can get it. We'll need saplings and apples. And of course they need to pick up the wood. Okay, so you need to pick up oak wood. Why won't it let me put it down? There we go. 
Thumbcraft GUIs are a little buggy for me. They've been that way for a long time. So, do I actually need a, another golem? Oh, I haven't figured this all out. Uh, I'll be back after I do. Okay, it looks like what I need is a third golem with a U score. So, you attach him to a chest, just like the gather golem. And I'm going to tell him to... Just kind of plant trees with one block spacing in between them. Okay, so now if I, oops, if I were to put saplings in here, I should start taking them and planting them. And I don't know what his range is without any upgrades on. Okay. Looks like he can get all the spots with no trouble. Can he get, like, all the way out here? Looks like he can. Alright, and I guess instead of a gather golem, I also could have used the hopper hawk, but this is okay for now. So these guys should just kind of hang out until it's until a tree grows like that and this guy will chop it down and the guy on top of the chest will go and start trying to gather all the stuff that it drops and he'll be a bit confused at first but that's okay and they replanted it. Hooray it works. Wow that is nowhere near enough content to fill up an episode. What am I gonna do now? <laughs> terrible, terrible plan. I can't even speak correctly. I'm so distraught. Uh, I blame you guys. It's your fault. Alright, well, I guess we could... Maybe re-dye that other sheep something else. What do I have? I could dye them yellow. There we go. And I, I'm pretty close to 30 levels, so I'm not going to bother renaming him yet because that would cost me about 12 levels. I'm going to see if there's any way I can alter the cost of renaming the nameplate. I think there might be. Alright, well I'm going to stop recording until I figure out what to do. Oh, actually... I was kind of thinking of piping the stuff from that chest. Like, up into the base, but... No, I'll worry about that later after I figure out exactly what I want to do. Alright, so I've decided to start working on the next layer of my base. I probably... Yeah, I definite, definitely don't have enough limestone to finish it, but... I'm going to go ahead and make a teleporter to get up to the next level so I'm not breaking my boots uh, going up and down. And... It may be from my own mod, but I can't remember the recipe most of the time. Alright, and this is not going to be the color that I'm going to be using. I just chose this gem because I have the most of it. There is a way to recolor them, or recolor the teleporters after you craft them. And actually, I was thinking of recoloring several teleporters. Okay, what else do I need? This and this, I think. There we go. I need the teleporter linker. Which probably is somewhere. There we go. I 
Okay, so let's go ahead and remove this one. And okay, go back down and remove the other one as well. And... Nope, <laughs> the hungry chest ate it. That's funny. Okay, so you can recolor a teleporter by just crafting it with uh, the gem that you want. So now I've got four amethyst teleporters. And the way I want to do this is I want to have, for example, one teleporter in the floor and then a little bit above it, I want to have, is there any way to get this lined up properly? No, one block higher. And you can click the top one to go up once I get everything set up correctly, and the bottom one to go down. Okay, so for example, the teleporter here is supposed to go down, so I'm going to go ahead and link it to here. And I don't want to go down again from here, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this teleporter. And... Wait, I think I may have done this in the wrong order. This is a bit uh, convoluted the way you have to set this up, but it's kind of the product of a bug, really. So... <laughs> It, it was not an intended feature originally, but it's something I left in. Okay, so now if I click this one, it says destination obstructed. Uh, right. That's not where you're supposed to go. You're supposed to go here. Okay, so this one should be linked to up above now. And this one should be linked to the one that's in the floor. And now we can remove this since we don't need it anymore. And I'll just put here this here temporarily. So let's go back up. And... How hard is it going to be to get these to link correctly? This could be really difficult, I'm not sure. There must be a way to do it. Actually, I should leave those for now. Okay, so the bottom one I want to link here, which will destroy the link that I just created, unfortunately. And actually, I don't need the... I don't need the top one here. So this one needs to go down here, and this is where the other teleporter needs to be. So these two are currently linked, and I want this one to be linked up here. Okay, so this one is right now, but this one needs to be linked here. And then this one needs to be linked to down below. I need another teleporter. I will just steal this one. I don't need to get to, to the new Battlecraft stuff anytime soon. Okay, so this takes us to the top floor. This takes us down to the next to the top. 
This takes us down here, and this one is not supposed to be linked. Actually, I can just put this back as a regular block. A far easier way to do a setup like this would be to have the teleporter blocks embedded in a wall to act kind of like buttons. Like you could have, for example, one here and one here, and this one will take you down below. And this one will take you up above. Okay, so now if I click on this, I go up. This takes me down. Up again. Down. Okay, looks like I got them all linked correctly. That was a bit time-consuming, but it works. Another solution that I considered was kind of having them linked in series, like uh, have one in the floor here, and that would take you up when you clicked on it. Then when it would take you to this one, and you would click on it, and it would take you up again, and then the top one would take you down to the bottom. But I like this a bit better. So I'll go ahead and relink the pneumatic craft room, I guess, if I can figure out how to get into it. There we go. Alright, so that's nice. I'm pretty happy with this. Now the only problem is that I don't have enough limestone to build uh, this next level, which is going to be the 3x3 three three of rooms. I just said I built those teleporters so I wouldn't have to fly up there and break my boots and then I start flying. And I should probably get rid of the teleporter linker before I start breaking things. What did I just put in there? Well, if it's important, I'll come back for it. Okay, I believe that is definitely enough content to fill up the episode here. Uh, one more thing, I did put some upgrades into this, but four speed upgrades and a pseudo round robin upgrade because this left engine was not getting enough water, but now they're all doing pretty good and I added two more redstone engines. So, I'm not sure how necessary the pseudo round robin upgrade is, but I uh, thought it'd be better to be safe than have exploding combustion engines. Those are no good. I had a, a room full of combustion engines once explode on me, and the room transformed from being round to being spherical. So, and it was made of stone, so that, that might tell you relatively how powerful these things are when they explode. It's not good. So thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe or leave a like or a comment if you want to, and I will see you next time.